Hey everybody, Jim and Joshua here to talk about our very first look at the Wonder Woman movie uh, on the uh, CW special, but the dawn of the Justice League. We did get our very first look at footage from Wonder Woman. It's filming now over in London. Uh, Joshua, what did you think? Um, it looked good. Yeah? It looked good. It got me like pumped. I, I really liked listening to them talk about it, and they talked about some of the Justice League characters. We can touch on that in a second. Um, but uh, I liked like hearing Patty Jenkins like talk about director Patty Jenkins uh, talk about her, sort of her vision for Wonder Woman, how she sees her, yeah. and uh, of that she's this incredibly kind and passionate person. But in no way does that take away her power, this yeah. immense power that she has. And you know, Gal Gadot looks great. Yeah. I think the, she looks like Wonder Woman. She, she looks, looks yeah, and just like the way she's like carrying herself. Like people were kind of worried about like, oh, she you know she doesn't have enough muscle or this or yeah. that or whatever. But she looks like she's she is she has like the 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 presence of Wonder Woman. Yeah, that she, I really like she she has gravitas. She has a, a stature to her that yeah. that's really you know and just an intensity in her gaze yeah. that you buy her as this this ancient goddess and warrior. You know, um, I thought it was really cool that we get to see uh, essentially real world stuff of. You know, set during World War One, and we get to see Chris Pine's Steve Trevor and uh, her her fighting uh, uh, some of the troops. Although when she was fighting the troops, she does that like big wind up kick thing. Yeah. Uh, it looks like she completely misses them. <laughs> <laughs> and then in the other shot, when she like shield bashes a guy, it looks like she doesn't actually hit the guy, but he goes flying anyways. So I was like, I'm sure they'll fix that. I was like, why post. would you show this if it wasn't? It didn't quite, you know. Yeah. It looks like they didn't do the, the best. Well, job you were also with it. Like, you were you were you were kind of smitten with all the horseback riding in there. You I was like, what was all these horses? <laughs> hey, look, World War One was still like the last time horseback cavalry. That is was true. Used. Okay, because there you was know. a lot of horses. Basically, it's Wonder Woman meets War Horse. That's what we're <laughs> saying. This movie is Wonder Woman meets War Horse. Yeah. What did you think? I, I just like the look of it. I like the a kind of misty, almost blue gray kind yeah, of. Yeah, it had a great. Yeah, it looked different vibe but it, to it. It yeah. still looked like it belonged in the the BVS universe, but not quite as kind of cutscene, video gamey looking as yeah. that movie is kind of giving me the. Yeah, and I really like my favorite shot was her just walking through the mustard gas. Unfazed by it because she's yeah. Wonder Woman, right? Yeah. And it's, but it's that World War One imagery yeah. mixed with her, like her just power and also just the tragedy of that war, just yeah. all in that, in that one shot. So I was like, oh, this yeah. is gonna be good. I, yeah. I was really into that. Yeah, I really, I, I really enjoyed uh, that particular footage. I think I, I like that they did include some some Chris Pine as uh, Steve Trevor, you know, and we were kind of joking like. Uh, that if Marvel owns World War II with Captain America, then okay, DC's gonna have to do World War One, yep. and that Steve Trevor is basically maybe Wonder Woman's uh, Peggy Carter, if yes, you will. Yes, yes. You know? And it's, the parallels are there. She's sort of like a super-powered hero with a shield, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, overall, we thought Wonder Woman looked great. I can't wait to see more of the movie. Yeah. But that's not all that they showed last night. We also got, um, there wasn't movie footage of Aquaman or, or uh, Cyborg or Flash, but it was concept art that uh, for those who were at Hall, uh, in Hall H at Comic-Con 2015, San Diego Comic-Con, okay, it was me in Hall H, <laughs> me and like 5,000 other people, but uh, that concept art was first uh, shown in this sort of like moving collage that they did around Hall H, which is a huge room. So it was like eight screens or whatever. So we did get uh, we did get to see some of that, including the costumes and and cyborgs kind of uh, uh, scars and stuff like that at Comic Con. Mm -hmm. But it went by really fast. Mm -hmm. uh, but and now us normal folk can see it online. That's right. You know, um, the great unwashed. I I was excited to see the Justice League like line up and then just yeah. hear them talk about the characters. Everything they said about the characters was pretty much boilerplate for each yeah. character. Nothing new, no like twist like or anything. Did you like that Ray Fisher, the actor who plays uh, Cyborg, has the t-shirt that says Borg Life. Borg Life, yeah. I love that, I thought that was great. I want that shirt. It now. was pretty yeah. cool. Even Ezra Miller was sort of wearing flash colors. Yeah, yeah, uh, I don't think there's any accident to any of that stuff of what they were wearing, yeah. obviously. But what did you think about what uh, Ezra Miller ha and Jeff Johns too, and you know, Kevin Smith was hosting it, but Jeff Johns and Ezra Miller were both basically talking about sort of Flash's origin and how it yeah, will be done. Yeah, I mean, again, that's like boilerplate Flash, nothing new. It sounds it's, it's pretty much the exact same thing as the TV show. Yeah. Um, and they're pretty much acknowledging that, you know, he, they were saying he can go to a, like a higher frequency to another plane, which is yeah, pretty much like the speed force. Yeah, and time travel, Yeah, and time travel. Yeah, I mean, they so, said that we could, uh, basically the DC movie universe, we're gonna go into the past, we're gonna go underwater with uh, Aquaman, we're gonna go into uh, time travel, um, I mean, into the past with just 
stuff with Wonder Woman yeah. and, and Themyscira and on, all that jazz. There'll be a scene where Flash is just running behind Wonder Woman <laughs> in, ah, in, in mean, World War One. Like, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I, you know, anything is possible, <laughs> yeah. I suppose. But you know, they did at the very end too. Um, uh, they did tease that Green Lantern Corps movie, which was also announced at Comic Con. Is going to uh, is going to you know they're going to space too so they're going everywhere. Yeah, you know? that was one thing that was missing from that Justice League image, right? And from this, right. this lineup is that uh, they had six Justice League members, no Green Lantern, even though we know a Green Lantern core movie is coming. And, and the hashtag uh, of and Unite the Seven. Unite the Seven on yeah. that Aquaman pic picture. So we know. He's coming, but he's just not there yet. Yeah, they haven't not, cast not, him yet, so there's nothing or them because uh, it is Green Lantern Corps. Yeah. You know, uh, you know, rumor is that it'll be Hal Jordan and John Stewart, maybe Kyle Rayner. You know, it could be all of them. Guy Gardner, Simon Guy Baz, Gardner, I mean, Jessica Cruz. Why not? Yeah, I mean, I think so. I think that's one reason why we're not seeing uh, them in any of that concept art. Uh, you know, is that they don't know yet who it is. You can clearly see that's Momoa and that's yeah. Cavill and Affleck mm -hmm, and Godot. Mm -hmm. and also, Ezra you know, maybe Green Ray. Lantern isn't the best way to lead because that kind of bombed. We do still uh, have those. As much as I love Green way. Lantern, yeah, I have to admit that that didn't, that didn't work out. Yeah. But uh, let me see. Uh, we also got to see the costumes, which I thought was really cool. Right. Uh, the Flash, no uh, lightning doodads, no circular symbol, just yeah. the lightning bolt, very streamlined, and he has uh, fingerless gloves. Uh, and I think that doesn't Quicksilver, seem wise, though. Quicksilver finger had fingerless gloves, didn't he? Yeah, but doesn't Something that, like that? seem? It, I don't know. Does that seem wise to have fingerless gloves when you can run at that? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> now we're getting into some pretty deep nerd I stuff. Think his, I think physically he won't. You know, fric friction doesn't affect him. The, the uh, one that the the one character in the actors kind of quotes that uh, I really liked was Cyborg and Ray Fisher, who's a relatively unknown actor. He's a stage actor. He's done some film and TV work, but. Um, that you know, he described the character as a, a, a te technopath, like a he technopath. can interface and talk to like machines and stuff. Yeah, that he's always online and that he never sleeps and that he's. I love the idea of him like he's still trying to remain human. It's a very RoboCop kind of thing. You yeah, know? He's, he's the ultimate millennial. He's always tapped in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I didn't love his look though, to be honest. We didn't get a great look at it, so maybe once I see the actual thing, it'll look better. But right now, it looked just too plain, and yeah. it was just like the kind of like a metal. Suit and then a piece of metal up on his face. And yeah, I'm sure they'll. I'm sure they'll, they'll make it. You know, a little yeah. I like kind of like the the red lights and the doodads yeah, and sort of yeah. you can see like there's sort of like panels here and there. Right, and, right. You know, I'm I'm into that. Yeah, doodads. Um, so far, I've liked everything I've heard about these movies. I, I I've loved what I've seen about uh, uh, Wonder Woman. You know, Batman v Superman was also there was some stuff from that mm -hmm. in there. Uh, just final thought. Uh, did this special get you? excited for the DC movie slate or are you sort of like a little skittish still because Batman v Superman is not winning over as many folks as... Yeah, obviously it's hard to judge BVS without having seen it, yeah. but what we have seen has not inspired great hope <laughs> yeah. uh, because it looks I'm so dark hope, and but, grim. Yeah. And then it's like, but you have like dude running here and, and, and the Scarlet Speedster and Aquaman yeah, and yeah. like Cyborg and, and Wonder Woman like lighten up a bit, you know. So obviously the movie, it could you know defy expectations and be great, but right now I'm not really sold on that. Everything around it sounds good and it's finally just great to hear them talk about the grand scheme of the DC universe yeah. and see all the characters and like hear their stories and know that they're coming. So that's yeah. just, that's just no so refreshing. Back now. That's so exciting. <laughs> yeah, well, whether or not BVS works or not, we're getting these movies. So. Uh, we want to hear what you guys think of, of what you've seen so far from the DC Movie Slate. Let us know in the comments. For all things DC Movies, keep it here on IGN.